Hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. So for you guys, it's been a whole two days, you know, since the last video here on the channel. But for me, it has been like 40 minutes, you know? And I gotta tell you, man, it's only the first day down here in Florida, but I'm pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty tired already. But needless to say, we fished the whole morning at the intracoastal waterway and now it's the afternoon as you guys can see we are at a beautiful spot down here in Pompano Beach and let me tell you something the spot where we're going to right now is actually a spot I have never tried before it is the Hillsborough Inlet uh, I fished there before but I have never fished the inlet right at the mouth right where it meets the Atlantic Ocean so we're going there it is quite a walk it's all private property around here so in order for me to get to the mouth of the inlet i actually need to walk the shore for about 25 minutes because you know there are houses on this side so i can't really cross it it is a really sad situation and there are two risks in doing this okay first one is the tide as you guys can see i don't know if you guys can see very well this is pretty narrow right over here and when the tide is at the highest the tide gets pretty high you know in other words if i'm fishing there and time passes and the tide goes up it is going from low to high i'm not sure if i'll be able to go back because the water is going to cover the whole area here you know so that's number one number two 25 minutes walk this better be a productive a productive spot right i mean it would really really suck if we went there and then it's like so shallow and there's like nothing but as i like to tell people sometimes you just gotta do it you know exploring is part of the sport and hopefully hopefully we're gonna hopefully we're gonna catch something cool today you know i'll see you guys at the spot so i walked about 15 minutes now I can tell you we're definitely in trouble like look how narrow the stretch this stretch is and the tide is not even <laughs> one third of the way all the way up you know so I mean in other words we're gonna be fishing over there at the end of the inlet I better time this tide really good so that when the waves start to go down I'll have my way to walk back you know what I'm saying because narrow as it is like this the tide is gonna punch all the way here man later today screw it you know we're already here i'll see you at the spot all right fellas so after 25 minutes of walking we finally got here to the hillsborough inlet pretty much we're at the mouth of the inlet where it meets the ocean never fished over here before it is looking extremely promising although I gotta tell you I'm still a little bit terrified about that tide thing that we just talked about here but anyways I'm gonna get started with some lures for now we're gonna switch to live bait later so let's give a few casts I mean you never know right they told me it is this nuke season hey man let's try to catch something easy easy Life bait. Yeah, so it's been about 30 35 minutes. Uh, no fish on lures, man. Tried uh, the Rapalas, tried the diamond jig. I was just casting the zoom fluke on a little jig. No luck, no love, my man, no love. So, you know, we can't waste the whole day. I will be casting this stuff the whole day, but too many opportunities, right? So we're gonna change to live bait now. I bet there's a bunch of fish down there for live bait of all sizes, you know? Maybe we're gonna switch to lures later. We will see. But for now, let's just keep it simple and try to catch some fish. Go! Boom! <laughs> Dude, we, we got a squid on now. We got to catch some fish here. Hell yeah, boys. Something's coming up. I don't know. I don't care what it is at this point. As far as it is a fish, we'll take it. What the heck is this? 
Is this a juvenile French grant or a Tom Tate? I think this is a Tom Tate. We got, we got ourselves a Tom Tate. Check this out. Yeah, look at that. Huh? Another species for this Florida trip. This is a type of grunt. It's called the Tom Tate. Hyamulon autolineatum. It's got a big black dot on its tail and a few marks on its body, right? That's precisely how you know it is a Tom Tate. Alrighty, we took a few shots of our, whoa, Tom Tate. He really wants to go back, yeah? So final view of our fish here. I think I'm gonna release him on this side over there. Man, he was ready to go. <laughs> oh, there we go. Fish on, son. Fish on. What the heck is that? Oh no, it's a slippery dick, son. Look at that, huh? Everyone's favorite is back. Every time I come down here to Florida, gotta catch a few of these, huh? The Halicoeris bivitatus, yeah? AKA the slippery dick. Now, for real, now that I think about it, every time I come down here to Florida, there's not a single time that I don't hold some slippery dicks. Every time I come down here, there's one of these, you know? All right, let's leave this guy over here. I mean, it's a beautiful fish, don't take me wrong. Just super slippery, you know? Not the easiest to handle. Man, went under that rock right there, crazy. Oh, can be, can be, there's gotta be something else. Too many rock holes here. Oh, there we go. Well, we go. Yay, another species. Haha, <laughs> man. Dude, this rock thing is not bad at all. Not bad at all. I'm dropping right in front of me. Look at this. We got a school. Yeah, this is a schoolmaster snapper. Check that out. Little schoolmaster. <laughs> little schoolmaster snapper now that's the beauty right dropping right in front of us too not bad not bad look i don't care what people say about multi-species some people don't like it some people go after trophy fish some people like to go after specific species no big deal ouch 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 look at this dude he almost drew blood. this fish got beat i forgot I tried to leap a snapper, man. But anyways, as I was saying, look how beautiful this fish is, huh? Look at that, isn't that crazy? Right in the rocks in front of us. Anyone who doesn't do this, this stuff, man, is missing out on all the beauty out there, for real. Look at that, man, damn, son. He almost got me, too. Oh, look at that. Another species, dude. This is gonna be species galore. What is this now? This is a little damsel fish. It's gotta be a little damsel fish. Yay, this is a little dusky damsel fish. Another little exotic one. Fish tank, fish tank fish, as people like to say, right? Check this out. This one here is the dusky damsel fish. Right around the Florida area, there are actually three different types of damsel fish that are extremely common, excluding the Sergeant Major, which is the Abu Defduf Sexatilis. One is the Dusky Damsel Fish. Uh, the other one is the Cocoa Damsel Fish. And the third one is the Long Fin Damsel Fish. All of the Estegastes genus, yeah? All very small, like to hide along the rocks. Uh, Nick from 618 Fishing did a video before where he actually fished a few rock cracks, you know? Uh, he caught a bunch of these, you know? Yeah, but after you catch a few of them though, you don't want to catch them again, you know what I'm saying? Final view of our dusky Denzel fish. Check that out once again, huh? Little fella, super dark, no other physical characteristics on it other than blue spots on its face sometimes. Needless to say, we don't want to catch any of these today anymore, you know? 
and he pooped all over my hand too, which is not good. You just go back, man. Lucky guy. Got him. What we got here? Dude, what is this? Dude, what, what is that? I don't think I have this yet. I think this is new. What the heck is this? It's red. Is this poisonous? I definitely don't have this yet. This is definitely new to me. Whatever this is. Uh, looks like some type of goby or some type of blaney. Actually looks like some type of blaney. Look at that. That is, I mean, blannies are not poisonous as far as I know. Not venomous, so. But uh, definitely a new species for me here. Number 196, yeah? Check that out. I'm pretty sure it is a type of blanny. We're gonna double check later. I'm gonna hit the books, you know? But for now, let's take a photo and release this fish. Man, this little guy inhaled the hook so deep that I had to cut the hook. One greedy little dude for sure, man. Now, I don't know what type of fish this is. Like I said, I gotta hit the books later. Definitely a new species for me. All right, very cool. It's got some stuff here on top of the eyes, man. Check that out, huh? But all right, time to let it go. Suffer, suffer too much abuse, man. Too much abuse. Yeah, there he goes. Damn, son. Pretty lively, pretty lively. Good. Oh man, I'm retying my rig right now. The fish took the last one, the hook. Doing another dropper loop here. Gotta fish the rocks a little bit more. This is what multi-species fishing around the rocks is all about. You know what I'm saying? A lot of folks come here on the channel usually and they ask me like, Leo, why do you do that? You know? I mean, the fish barely fights, right? Two seconds and it is out of the water. Yeah, we don't do it for the fight, you know? As multi-species anglers and people who do life listing, we do it to catch new species of fish, you know? If you look at the books, you will come to realize that very few species overall are game fish. Most species out there are very, very small, very, very tiny, you know? That's why we're always doing this kind of stuff. The rocks right here in front of, in front of me, it is like a little treasure box. And when you open it up, you just never know what you're gonna find, you know? It was pretty boring until now, I ain't gonna lie, you know, catch this and that, but I already had everything. You catch one of these, it's like, it's like it makes your day, believe it or not, you know? <laughs> Alright, let's keep fishing and uh, hopefully we'll catch something a little bit different. There's a bullhead rust right here, dude. Bullhead rust. I got him! I got the bullhead rust! <gasps> Hell yeah! Dude, took me a little while. Do you guys have any idea how much this fish costs here in the market? People who have fish tanks, they buy this dude from stores, man, just to have this fish on their, in their fish tank. All right, now I don't, I don't know how expensive it is, you know? It can't be like that expensive, but I would think like 50 bucks, someone would buy something like this maybe online, you know? This is the bluehead rust, check this out. I saw it, it was like right down there, right? But it was so hard to catch because there's so many other species around this one. But look, dude, now this is a fish, this is a tank worthy type of fish. Come on, man, look at that. Look at the beauty of this little guy. Yeah, man, this is the real deal. Isn't this discrimination though, when you guys think about it, that people will pay like 50 bucks for a fish like this for their fish tank but then when it comes to its cousin the slippery dick they won't even pay five dollars for it so ultimately it is all in the beauty of the fish check the face of this fish the blue colorations over here right that's why everybody wants one of these for their fish tank you know what i'm saying well needless to say i'm not gonna sell it or anything so we're just gonna release it over here you know but yeah, man, this is like one of the most beautiful ras down here in Florida, you know, along with the pudding wife ras. Super gorgeous. You can see it in the water. Look, it's just swimming there under the rock. That's crazy.
There we go. Come on, be bait. Bait size, bait size. No slippery dick. Uh, Sergeant Major, man. It's a Sergeant Major. This is no good. No good. When Sergeant Majors just start to show up, you know the struggle just got real. You know? These damsel fish, man, they travel in schools, you know? Every time they show up, you just know things go real here. Oh no. So guys, it is about 3 p.m. right now and the fishing was going great. I mean, we landed so many different species of fish over here, right? It, it was phenomenal. And uh, as my homies mother usually say, you know, multi-species is like a box filled with chocolate. No, I'm just messing. But for real though, if you've never done multi-species fishing before, you should definitely give it a try. I understand people have different preferences when it comes to the sport, you know, people like to go for different species of fish, right? Some people like to focus on certain species, but as I like to tell people, sometimes you're just gonna branch out, you know, you gotta broaden your horizons. And when you do, you find this kind of stuff, you know, I mean, reef micro fishing is a blast, you know, but what happened in the end is the Sergeant Major show up. And when the Sergeant Major shows up down here in Florida, let me tell you, man, they come in waves. They are like the piranhas of Florida, you know? I'm talking about the Abu Defduf Sexatilis. Once they show up, you can punch as much as you want in the coral reefs and the rocks using small hooks. You gotta keep catching Sergeant Major after Sergeant Major, you know? It is like going to a pond filled with mosquito fish and you want to catch like a different species there, right? And you just, you, you can't just get to that species because there's so many mosquito fish around the area. It is the same idea. Over here, you know, you get to see all the different species that you want to catch, but when the Sergeant Major are around, that's all you're gonna catch. And let me tell you, for a multi-species angler, monotony is really a curse. So we are calling it a day. I'm gonna use the remaining of my time here today not to film, but actually to do a live stream. By the time you guys are watching this video, the live stream will probably be already long done on the channel. But hey, at the end of the day, we did land a new species, you know, that's number 196 for me. Some type of uh, hairy, blenny. I mean, I'm gonna look up the books and uh, we gotta identify once I'm back in Philly, you know? But hey man, new species is a new species, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, thank you very much for watching. Truly appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Fish hole. Oh, it's running to the pipe. Run into the pipe. Holy moly. No, 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 don't go into the pipe. Don't go into the pipe. Son, try to go into the pipe, dude. There's a pipe right over here. No way, dude. I ain't letting you go into the pipe. You crazy? Oh, it's a nice peacock. Dude, this is a nice, nicer peacock. Nicer peacock. We're gonna land it over here. This is a nicer peacock. Oh, it, oh, it's, oh, oh, it's gunning for the pipe. Get out of the pipe, dude. Damn, son. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, yeah, man. That's, no, that's a nicer peacock, man. It's a nicer peacock. Damn, son. Powerful.